Tropical Storm Debbie has muscled up into a Category 1 hurricane. It is set to make a landfall in Florida's Big Bend region around Monday morning with forecasts of winds of up to 150 kilometers per hour. The majority of the Florida's peninsula's west coast is under a tropical storm warning. Now, the storm went through a rapid strengthening to enter fire into a hurricane overnight. In fact, rain is predicted to be the most impactful element of the hurricane. Authorities in Florida, Georgia and South Carolina are urging residents to prepare for heavy rainfall and possible flooding. Florida's governor, Ron DeSantis, has warned people of severe flooding following the landfall. He has also called upon over 300 National Guard troops for rescue and relief operations, as per the National Hurricane Center. And we are looking at um, potentially really, really significant flooding uh, that will happen, particularly in north central Florida as this storm uh, makes landfall in Florida and then heads northeast across southeast Georgia uh, or southern Georgia and northern Florida. So the message is make sure you're executing your plan now. Uh, as the storm comes, uh, you may see, you may get hit with an awful lot of water, a lot of rain. Uh, there may be immediate impacts that you see, uh, but you could also see flooding that happens uh, days afterwards after the storm passes. But if you get some of these rainfall amounts that we're predicting, potentially over 20 inches, you're talking about you know catastrophic flooding. It is it'll be incredibly unsafe to move around. So what do you do? What actions do you take if you're in the swath of heavy rain? Go ahead and get your supplies now. Tropical storm and storm surge warnings have also been issued for parts of Florida, coastal Georgia and parts of South Carolina. Also, over 13 million people across Florida Peninsula and southern Georgia are under tornado watch. Evacuation orders have been issued in the Alachua County for people residing in mobile homes, manufactured homes and recreational vehicles. Hurricane-related thunderstorms have prompted the cancellation of over 1,600 flights. American Airlines have claimed to cancel over 600 flights on Sunday. This accounts for about 16% of flight cancellations, which is the most for any airline. North Carolina's Charlotte Douglas International Airport reported the highest number of flight cancellations with 214 flights cancelled and over 170 others delayed in New York City. At least 363 have been cancelled and 258 delayed, while Miami International Airport reported 209 cancelled and over 150 delayed flights. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.